Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the database hierarchy in PointWise. So the database hierarchy in PointWise starts from the underlying surface and its UV parameterization. Taking that underlying surface and trimming curves, we get trim surfaces or subsets of that UV parameterization. And it's these surfaces that represent the geometry that we see in the scene that we'll be meshing. Now what we do is we promote each one of those trim surfaces to quilts and models. And a quilt is essentially a watertight representation of trim surfaces because we can actually assemble quilts into larger and larger quilts so that they can consist of multiple underlying trim surfaces. Quilts are also logical meshing regions such that when we mesh the model, each one of those quilts receives a single domain. So we can actually use them to define the topology of the surface mesh and its boundaries while we're preparing the model. I've mentioned models a couple of times. A model is essentially a watertight collection of all of the underlying quilts. And when we mesh a watertight model, that surface mesh is guaranteed to be watertight. And again, each quilt will receive a single domain in that operation. And that's the database hierarchy in PointWise. So why don't we open up PointWise and take a look at a model and some quilts and their underlying surfaces. So here is a model of an intake in PointWise. And each one of the colors is actually a different quilt in this model. Again, because this model is watertight, if we mesh this model, each one of those quilts will receive a single domain and the surface mesh will be watertight as well. But we can take quilts on the surface of this model and assemble them into larger quilts. We can also take quilts that we have assembled and we can split them back into individual quilts such that there would be one quilt per underlying trim surface in this model. If we go ahead and turn off the model and go to view show hidden, we can now see the underlying support geometry for this particular model. Again, we hide these by default so that you're working on the quilt and model level in PointWise. And that is the database hierarchy in PointWise. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.